some of you know, you can't take all of your supplements at the same time, usually. Often there are some that you have to take at a different time. Before I head to the gym, we have cranberry, B complex, vitamin C, milk thistle, calcium magnesium, extra strength cranberry, and the rest are for later in the day. Zoe hangs out with me before I leave in the morning. How does one go to the gym like this? It is against cat ownership law to get up when a cat is comfy on you. Here we are and I do the 7 a.m. class at F45 every day. I really love the camaraderie here. The people are amazing. It's right next to my house. It's just such a good time. And you know what? Designing exercise programs for people all the time is great, but it just makes you want someone to do yours for you. <laughs> Okay, we just left. The sun has risen. I am on my way home for breakfast. Today I'm having the exact same breakfast that I recently made a video on. I've linked that below. It is the healthiest oatmeal that exists. Let's go home and get the rest of the morning started. One quick note, it is not safe to do high intensity interval training after 6 p.m. or you could go by sunset. Your sympathetic fight or flight nervous system is chief in operation in between 6 a.m. and roughly 6 p.m. Then your rest, repair, weight loss, that lovely system should be running the show from 6 p.m. all the way up until about 6 a.m. the next morning when your sympathetic system takes over again. So doing any kind of high intensity exercise in the evening will trick your body into thinking that it needs to go into that sympathetic state which will automatically suppress the parasympathetic rest repair weight loss system. So I'm here at 7 a.m. every morning to get my HIIT workout in. I edited the entire beginning of this video, totally forgetting to put in my meditation piece. The most auspicious time to meditate is around 4 a.m. It is said that the angle between the earth and the sun is 60 degrees, and that being in a sitting position at these times will balance the pituitary and pineal glands, giving you maximum results. The brain waves are not yet in beta at this early hour. Beta is that go, go, go state of the brain. When we meditate, meditate outside of beta in the other brainwave states like theta, alpha, or gamma, we can heal and manifest much more easily. Theta is where the brain is most suggestible to new information. Alpha is the creativity storehouse, and gamma is our connection to the divine or the universe. Science has shown that entering these brainwave states during the time frame of somewhere between 2.30 and 4.30 a.m. causes an uptick in our repair hair hormone, helping to heal the body and mind even further. This means that you are actually getting the repair, if not more repair, that you would have been if you were sleeping during these times. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Let's go home. Hi, baby. She always comes to greet me. One thing I forgot to show you earlier was my B12 and vitamin D that I take. This is the brand that I use. It is cleanse friendly as well. It's also really important to take them in dropper form when it comes to vitamin D or B12. Sublingual droppers under the tongue are much more bioavailable to your body, which means your body is going to properly absorb these. So my B12 is purely natural. I want to show you my probiotic because I keep getting asked about it, but it's this flora any refrigerated kind is good just make sure that you alternate them so every time you finish a jar go get a different type it could be the same brand or a different quality brand because you want to keep introducing those different bacteria to your gut here's the start of my breakfast again the recipe is linked below but I'm having oats made with almond milk I use an egg some apples some berries pumpkin seeds unsweetened shredded coconut almond butter walnut it's a whole thing it's the health thing. Again, check out the recipe in the description box. When you've done that, you have something that looks like this. Look at that. There it is. 
Okay, we're all done the shower. I want to show you my moisturizer. I like to go to Marshall's, Winners, or Home Sense and go to the body care section. They have tons of amazing brands that are cruelty free, paraben free, chemical free, fragrance free, which is what I like to stick to. And it's way less of a cost than if you buy it at regular price. So here's what I'm using right now. It's the Pure Formula Collagen and Peptides Facial Moisturizer. No chemicals, no yuckiness and it feels really lovely on the skin. Ta-da! I'm gonna have a green tea right now. I'm on a cleanse. I'll show you the type of coffee that I drink usually. This Balzac's. Make sure that if you're drinking decaf that it's Swiss water processed. Otherwise the decaffeinating process of coffee is so toxic. What's going on? that it's so full of chemicals, you might as well have the caffeine at that point. When I do have coffee, my favorite collagen currently is this. It's the Organica brand chocolate enhanced collagen. This is also cleanse friendly. Delicious, it's like a hot cocoa. On to the green tea. Come in here, get all set up. Now that we're showered, we have our tea, I want to show you the quiet time that I have every day. Every morning after I'm done my workout, after I've had my breakfast, I love to come into this Zen room and do a bit of quiet time. Here's what I like to do during that time. The five minute journal, I fill this out every morning. It's so, so amazing. I talked a lot about it on my evening routine, but it's a wonderful, honestly takes less than five minutes way to really enhance your life in productivity and the amount of joy in your life. Honestly, I noticed a big difference with this. You can find it on Amazon. I've linked it below for you. Another book I love to tuck into every day is Simple Abundance. This book I've had for a lot of years. It's by Sarah Ben Brethnick and it is amazing. It's a day book of comfort and joy. So every day there's a passage. Some days they give you activities like create a vision board, start a garden, journaling entries for example. So I'll give you a little look-see at what today's passage is. With the five minute journal, they give you a whole bunch of info on why this is good to do, but here's a random day. You write in the date, the fastest way to change yourself is to hang out with people who are already the way you want to be. So it gives you a quote, three things to be grateful for, what would make today great, daily affirmations of I am, and then in the evening, three amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today even better. Some days in the week, there's a weekly challenge like this day. Get rid of one item that does not spark joy. Now let's take a look at the day book. Okay, so we've got a ribbon marking today. Today is March 15th, at least when I'm recording this. Self-nurturing, the hardest task you'll ever do. Any little bit of experimenting in self-nurturance is very frightening for most of us. Isn't that true? So I'm going to read this passage. It's going to speak to me on a pretty deep level as they usually do. And both of these together just make a really great way to start the day. After I do that, it's off to work for me. So that is my morning routine. I hope you found it helpful at all. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, or informative at all, please give it a thumbs up down there for me. Please subscribe. That is where the support comes from for creators on YouTube. It means a lot to us and it's free. If you would like a notification of each time I post a video, please hit that little bell icon down there and you will be sent a notification each time I upload. I hope you all have an awesome day today. As I always say, onwards and upwards, always have super amounts of fun in your life have super amounts of fun creating a morning routine that really speaks to you another video i'm going to be putting out is how i plan my day that is a part of my morning routine but i thought it would be helpful as its own video how to organize your time versus tasks so that's coming down the line have an awesome day and i'll see you next time bye guys